Dolph Victor Uniform Hotel. This is locked. One helo inbound, one medic on board. We're here though, medical team to the flight deck of the rush to receive inbound casualty. My role within the RNI is at present as a leading naval nurse. My job is vital. Without the reserves, the Royal Navy would find themselves stretched on their limits. Okay, Laura, just a bit of cutting. In times of crisis, it's it's us, the reserves, that provide the professional backup that lets the Navy do its job. It's been hand for a long time. Right. Okay, Looking back at base training, I think you feel very proud of what you've achieved. Along the way, there are uh, a lot of things that you do have to overcome. Going to HMS Rally, it doesn't actually matter how young or old you are, there is always something extremely useful that comes out of training. There is going to be a time where it, it may be challenging, but also it may be very, very rewarding. I was 33 years old when I joined the Royal Naval Reserve. You're adapting with, with other people, uh, you help each other out. You have to wash all your own kit and iron it to you know, certain standards and lay it all out on your bed for a kit inspection. Okay, oh, heads up! Left, right, left. Dig your heels in! Squad! Help! The biggest adrenaline rush was in the tree when the water was coming above your head. It was terrifying. Damage repair exercise was my big nightmare, really. It was extremely realistic. I was so engaged in trying to address the problem at hand that it was all over before I knew it, and actually we were thoroughly enjoying ourselves. There are so many things that you can get to do, and no one else says you can't have fun doing it. In my civilian life, I am a graphic designer for the National Marine Aquarium. It's vital that your employer knows that you're going to make the commitment to the Royal Naval Reserve because it is a big commitment in time, in your efforts, your energy. Rolf is hugely enthusiastic about the RNR. He never stops talking about it. Um, he brings back all sorts of contacts, all sorts of bright ideas that he's learned, he's picked up, he's met all sorts of other people as well. Going from somebody that was a valuable asset to us, now we have somebody that's an incredible asset and has a fantastic management attitude as well. So it's been a, a, a huge advantage and uh, for that we're very grateful. I was very fortunate to be invited onto the deck of the ship while she was actually at sea and cruising around off the south coast of England. Fantastic experience, one to see exactly what went on on a Royal Navy ship, but two to see how the RNR had a very real part to play uh, in the day-to-day -day activities of, of the Royal Navy. One of the great things is that you meet other employers who were on the ship at the same time, all of whom have got that enthusiasm for the RNR as well, and the whole thing was a very, very useful exercise. Come on then, you know this, we have a new wakey wakey runs for sure. Cool the hands, cool the hands, come on. I'll never get used to that early call on the first morning, but after a good breakfast, it sets you up for the day. What we actually do in these leadership weekends are command leadership tasks, whereby we have a small team, we have somebody who's appointed a leader. Go! And then it's their task to manage the situation. With limited equipment, limited personnel, and set against a time limit, and then the leader will have to take charge and hopefully create and meet his aim. The leadership weekends that we do. Let's go to the naval rock on there. Are excellent, very good fun, very challenging. Lots of skills that, again, perhaps you didn't know you had. Excellent, well done. You tested yourself and, and put yourself up there in front of your friends, colleagues. Good effort. Very good, stand fast. 
I got a lot out of it, to be honest. The experience of leading people and delegating and standing back and taking charge of the team. I really enjoyed it. Keep going, guys. Well done. Be. Within Royal Naval Reserve, the social side is very, very important. It's also developing the team aspect. Yes, we do work very, very hard. Last night, we all had a meal shut down. Everyone was having a good time. I had a couple of games of pool. It was a good night. The message always is work hard, but play hard as well. You should be able to to meet the standards of the Royal Navy and that's what we're trained to do. It's become apparent to me that the Royal Naval Reserve is crucial. The relationship between the two is, is inseparable. The reserves are extremely important to the Royal Navy. I've worked with reserves uh, right around the world in many, many theatres of operation. They come with specialist skills and they have to be trained to uh, provide those skills that we really need uh, when we're in operation. So they bring all the skills that we need and we wouldn't be the same Royal Navy if we didn't have the Royal Naval Reserve. Being on board, um, everyone's really welcome and you know, goes out the way to, to help you. The reserves fit in um, always seamlessly with the Royal Navy. We expect them with us. That's the key point. They're part of the Navy family. I've been to Cyprus, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, Bermuda, New York. I've served in the Gulf, I've been to Dubai, I've sailed the entire Mediterranean. I've had that wonderful feeling of sailing out from Plymouth Sound and waving goodbye to it as we headed out across the high seas with an entire task force. I'm really, really pleased that I have managed to travel the world. 45, steer 350. 45, steer 350. We get to go on the bridge and what you'll be able to steer this year and work with the officer with the watch on the bridge. Glad to be port wheel on Very good. My role as a media relations officer would be to not only brief the media, but equally to advise the ship's company, who may not necessarily have had as much uh, experience as, as they would like with the media. It depends on the scenario and what's happening. A lot of the time it's been a, a presence on the upper deck. If you're in a port, it's been a visible deterrent to terrorists. When I went to Iraq, the lifestyle was fairly hot and hostile out there. I didn't you know, wake up one day and think I'd be going to war. But when you're in that situation, as a nurse, you have transferable skills, you have to adapt. So, yeah, some fairly um, interesting moments. Challenging, but then that's what I was prepared for. I always have to employ respect and humility to all my patients. My release is definitely having this career alongside my civilian career that um, is wholly dynamic and challenging and something away from the norm. I'd advise anyone to come along and have a look, see the opportunities that are available. Regrets? No. It's a huge buzz to be part of the team. It's about the people at the end of the day and you're in the same ship. So you have to get on, you have to work together, and you have to respect each other. And that's been my experience throughout. I really like what the Atta offer, and I've never looked back.